Wow, guys, it's great to see you again. I'm so glad you came back. We're going to have another awesome dinosaur show today. I found a new series. It's Collecta. That's C-O-L-L-E-C-T-A. And it's like, uh, it's actually approved by actual dinosaur experts. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of these and compare them to the Papo and the Schleich ones. I mean, right off the bat, I could see it's not as detailed as the Papo one, but it does look cool. But one thing I don't like is the jaw is not articulated. But one thing that's kind of cool, they gave a little figure here for the dinosaur to eat. <laughs> I, I think that's, that's really cool. And this is the first time I heard of this series of dinosaurs. So if you do like it, make sure you leave me comments. And I will try to find more of them and review them. And these come with a really cool little like three-page card that gives details about the Tyrannosaur. I mean, this is the guy that actually approved them. And it says he is a well-respected, well-respected Paleo imaginary. Huh. I've never heard of that before. And then it says the name is Tyrannosaurus Rex, which means Tyrant Lizard King. And it gives how to pronounce it. It gives the dinosaur group is Theropod, Darnit, Diet is Carnivorous. And then here it gives more details. It says over 12 meters long and over 6 meters tall. The skull was one and a half meters long with 1.2 meter jaws, 50 saw edge pointed teeth, and the skin was the same texture as an alligator. And it gives where he lives also. So that's cool. Gives a lot of detail about him. But the best part is the toy itself. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at him. Okay, we're going to start here on his head. I mean, they did do a great job, but... Like I said, I mean, they don't compare to the Papa ones. I mean, this would be more along the lines of uh, uh, the Schleich ones. Because uh, you can see he does have individual teeth here, most of them. Some of them are attached. But, I mean, the paint job is not that great. I mean, some of that, they got the paint, like, on to the mouth part. So that's not the greatest. I mean, his eyes are really cool. It's a tiny little orange eye with a black slit on it and his jaw is open but it does not close i mean most of the schleich ones and the papal ones the jaws do open and close which gives the dinosaur a lot more detail and playability and you have really cool ridge lines and details and textures here which you don't get on a lot of the schleich ones a lot of the schleich ones the details are painted on they're not actually 3d textures and here I mean, this his skin is really cool. It does have this 3D textured everywhere. And it's got like muscle striations and everywhere. The spine is a 3D uh, indent, like sticking out of the top. And then uh, its claws, its arms and its claws are really realistic looking too. It's a little more light on that. And you can see, I mean, it does have the musculature on the arms, which a lot of the Schleich ones don't have. So, I mean, this would be like between a Schleich and a Papo, sort of in the middle. I mean, it does have a lot of the musculature, but it doesn't have as good detail and painting as the Papo ones. And here you do have a lot of 3D musculature here, so that that's really cool there too. And then continuing on down his leg. You can see his calves got really good musculature there. And, I mean, he's got, like, all the overlaying plates on his leg. Well, okay, just on the top part of his leg. Here it's, I don't know. He does have it, but it's not that clear. I mean, it's it almost seems like the paint job is a bit. Like running together. And then here you got the claws. They did a great job on the claws. So I mean I really like the musculature they put into this guy. If they would have just did a little bit more detail with the teeth. And made the jaw articulating. I mean it would have been much better. And then here you got a cool paint job on the tail. You can see the stripes there. And it's like a yellowish green brown blend. 
I mean, I do love the textures on this guy. I mean, every one of these bump is bumps are 3D. These are not just painted on to look 3D. They are 3D effects. And then here is his other leg with all the uh, with the claws and all the striations on his foot, which makes it look like a chicken foot, <laughs> which a lot of these dinosaurs do have ones that look like chicken feet so I mean maybe they're ancestors of the chickens <laughs> giant meat-eating chickens how about that then here you could take you can see a better look at his eye Let's zoom in there a little bit you can see he does have like a cool yellow eye with a stripe down it and they did a good job with how his mouth is open and his teeth I mean, I do like his teeth. On top, it seems like they're individual. Bottom, it seems like they're one. So, I mean, like the Papal ones, every tooth is individual. And then, you know, they, they went kind of cheap inside his mouth. I mean, they just painted it pink and just put a tiny tip of a tongue here. So, that, that's a little disappointing there. And then the bottom, they did not put as much detail as the Papal ones. I mean, they painted... The bottom yellow. I mean, they do have a lot of the muscular striations here, but it would have been nice if they continued the paint job from the top. Because, I mean, the yellow, it's, I don't know, it, lo it looks kind of cheap. I mean, if you look at, like, the uh, like the Jurassic uh, Park dinosaurs, I mean, most of their bottoms are just painted yellow. And, I mean, I, I, don't, I don't really like that yellow or white. It's, I don't know, it's kind of cheap looking. Well, I mean, I understand those toys are for playability, but these are for posing, so they should be a lot, a lot more detailed on the bottom. I mean, it does have striations here on his feet, which are really cool. Like I said, they do look like chicken pee. Then here, it does identify the dinosaur and that it's a collecta dinosaur. And then here is a better look of the musculature on the bottom of his legs and his calves and this uh, fourth claw here sticking out of his foot. And then there is a look at the tail. So, I mean, what do you guys think? I mean, I think these guys are cool. Like I said, I mean, it's, to me, it's like between the Schleich and the Papo. And then also, like I said, I mean, they give this little generic guy here. I guess that's for like the dinosaur to eat or something so dinosaur could enjoy the guy <laughs> I, I think that's really funny that they gave that little tiny figure okay well guys let's compare this to the stomp and strike t-rex which was gonna be a lot bigger i mean this guy for a posable figure is a good size you can see my hand here he is a little bigger than my hand but let's compare him and size wise to the stomp and strike t-rex Okay guys, here he is in size comparison to the Jurassic World Stomp and Strike. So you can see the Stomp and Strike is a lot bigger toy. But, I mean, for a posable toy, I mean, this is a really good size. And guys, today's secret word is great. G-R-E-A-T. So if you watch this whole video... Make sure you put in great and I'll know you're a true fan of dinosaurs in these videos and that you're part of the Dino Club. And make sure you check out my newer videos also for the secret word. Wow guys, it'll be an awesome club that only people who watch this whole video will be part of. We'll have so much fun together. Wow guys, that was so much fun. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you wait till this video ends, there's an awesome end card. A lot more fun videos with Jurassic World and Peppa Pig and Minions and Star Wars and Good Dinosaur. Well, I hope to see you soon.